morning, America! How are ya? Monday morning rail. Will be 500 miles before the day is done. They call me the city of New Orleans. Hi, I'm Denny Yelswa, and I'm at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum. Today is Monday, and you know what we always do on Monday? You guessed it. We're doing show and tell, and show and tell starts right now. Hi guys, it's Richard from the Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum. Today we're going to talk about another scratch built building. This was a station in Yulee, Florida. This little building right here, little green thing. Yulee was on the Seaboard Airline and in the northeast corner of Florida. Behind me, the track ran to Fernandina, heading east, back to where the uh, paper plant is. Anyway, I was told to build this little building, and all I had was photos again. Is there a glare on there? Nope, that's good. Okay. I had photos of all four sides of the little building. Now, when these pictures were taken, it has air conditioning in it by then. But we're modeling back in the time before air conditioning. So when I built this little thing, I ignored all that. Now, I had no dimensions to go by, no floor plans that I could find anywhere, just the pictures. So what I did was, I had a box of Grantline door and window inserts. Just a box full of them. And I picked and choose to the based on the pictures of the windows in the real station. Now, judging by, there we go, judging by a set of doors, that determined my man height, about six, seven feet tall. Based on this height, I then guesstimated the dimensions of the building in the pictures. Now, this is not exact, but it's close enough. In a model railroading, close enough is good enough. So once I had the basic design down based on the pictures and the doors and windows picked out, I started cutting, cutting plastic. This building is made out of scribe styrene. There is large bracing pieces inside to hold everything nice and tight. And it's basically just a rectangular box. Let's see, does it come loose? No, it's glued in pretty good. Uh, anyway, it's all scratch built out of styrene. The siding is scribe styrene, cut to accept the windows and doors where I thought they should go. Um, the roofing is, again, just styrene strip, covered in Campbell scale models, which comes in a big roll, it's about four inches in diameter. Just unroll the strip and glue it on. Uh, I did not use PVA, the white glue. I used um, so there was a it's a white it's a contact glue. It bonds to anything. Very, it's not real sticky, but it dries really well. It dries clear. So I just patiently took my time and put in roll one roll of, of strips on each side. Uh, one one roll of shingles it is and just gradually worked my way up to the peak of the roof. The peak itself, I think, is another strip of shingles. Both peaks are. Anyway, I just took my time and enjoyed the process. It did take a while. Then I just come back with the green that was selected to closely match that in the photos and uh, put in my standard three strip LEDs in for the lighting system and wired it into the layout when we got it here. The semaphore in front of the station is another kit entirely. It was nothing but pieces of paper, uh, wire, and it had a paint diagram as to what you could felt tip color the paint, the uh, colors. People and fixtures standing around it or came down extra, uh, came in later uh, once the building was in place. So basically, I just made my best guess based on the pictures and everybody at the club was satisfied. 
man because they didn't have to do it. So that's the way it is at Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum. Have a good time, guys. Well, thank you, Richard. That was very interesting. Uh, I visited Yulee many, many times, and it was a good spot to watch trains. Well, that's the way it is at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida, where the sun always shines and running trains is a pleasure and peace and harmony and air-conditioned comfort.